almost forgot this, which is kind of useful because it allows me inside the venue. So there's literally tens of thousands of people waiting outside in line right now. I'm very glad that my badge says media because it means that I can basically skip this entire line. Alright, so I made it inside of BlizzCon right now, which is great, absolutely awesome though. I will be obviously trying to vlog as much as possible. I also have a couple of interviews that I need to do with developers and, you know, there's a lot of things happening. So hopefully I won't forget to pull out this camera and, you know, try and, and record as much as possible. So I believe the actual venue doesn't open for like another hour or so. But luckily I'm not... I am allowed to go in a little early. So there's obviously the WCS finals around here somewhere as well, but I'm heading towards the main stage right now, which the actual event is starting at in about two hours from now. At least over here I'm not the only idiot with a camera. Vlogging at the actual airport for example is really awkward, but this is fine. Starcraft, the best RTS ever. We had just finished Warcraft 2. We said to ourselves, wouldn't it be awesome to create a real-time strategy game in a gritty science fiction universe? The first opportunity to show off our new game, we hadn't been working on it for very long. We showed it and players were underwhelmed. Darks in space. Ladies and gentlemen, Please welcome President and CEO of Blizzard Entertainment, Mike Morheim! Alliance and Horn, Terran, Protoss, and Zern, Heroes of Sanctuary, Future heroes of Overwatch! <laughs> heroes of the Protoss! Children of ancient gods! We are the first ball. I'm pleased to announce that in addition to our ongoing support for the game, we plan to create StarCraft II mission packs that offer new stories and experiences in the StarCraft universe. The Lord of Terror, riding into battle on a beautiful rainbow unicorn. A year ago at BlizzCon that we unveiled Overwatch to you guys. Better world. Freeze! Don't move! 
We shall see, brother. Darkness has returned to our world. As before, it seeks to annihilate everything that we hold dear. I go to face it, knowing I may not return. Alright, so we're just leaving the main stage right now. There's like a ton of announcements. I don't even really know what to recap right here, but there's too much stuff in the YouTube behind me. Get rid of Sarah. I'm guessing this is too her. But I'll link her down below. It is so stupidly busy over here right now. We got full obsession right now. What's up? Hey, what's up? Alright, so I just finished my interview with Jason Huck. I didn't actually know that there would be a second interviewer as well. So I set up my camera. I don't think I actually did it properly. I'm not 100% certain uh, because the audio may have been, you know, a little bit, uh, a little bit wrong, especially when he was obviously looking away. But we had a really great time, um, you know, just answering all the questions. And he actually had some very insightful ideas. So, <laughs> alright, guys, we're here at Let's Go right now. Um, most of you that are Polish will probably know this guy right here. Hey guys, um, uh, people call me Rock. Man, I wish I would be able to put everything in the vlog that I'm experiencing today. Like, there's so many things happening that I keep forgetting to put out this camera, obviously. For example, one of the things that I completely forgot to mention is that I just actually talked to David Kim, like the, you know, the balance designer for StarCraft 2 for about an hour. Completely blanked out on that. There's so many things happening here. My Netherlands is new in Nice! Look how I found it. <laughs> Life story is just so crazy. Remember, last year we didn't think he was going to win. We didn't think he was going to get far. These sidelines, I suppose, like the borders around the screens, those actually change depending on what scene we're on and like what map we're playing on as well. It's ridiculously cool. I only just now noticed that actually there's like free spread depending on, you know, the side of what you're playing at. Like we see live over the screen. Yep, an FCV builds this and the Protoss one warps in. Really? That's yeah. awesome. He's going to be able to take out so many SCVs here. The bunker probably going to go down as well. Some Hellions do come out. And the grip spread <laughs> all the way over the stage. Life taking the game number two right there. All right, so life is currently up to one. What? What? <laughs> Life's up to one. Life, 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 life. Life. <laughs> life. So life just managed to win three to one against Innovation. That clearly means he's gonna win WCS. There's no way he's not. There he is. The man himself. I've been predicting Innovation to win BlizzCon for a very long time right now. Obviously, I've always been a massive Life fan, 
So the fact of the matter that he does manage to take out Innovation in a 3-1 fashion right here in the round of 8 is insane. So life is moving onwards to the top 4 right now, which means that the semi-finals, I believe he's going up against Classic, so insane games. Guys, look who I randomly found here. <gasps> uh, it's it's Mr. Video? Winter. Yeah, no, this oh, may or may not be a video lot. right now. <laughs> Guys, look and who else I found here. I'll be honest though, BlizzCon is probably the most relaxed, nerdy event that I've ever been to. Nerds are just chilling and playing some video games and just hanging out. It's really cool. So he's like, I'm really sorry, let me help you. And I'm like, yeah, maybe that would be good if you would help me, please. Alright, so we just spent like an hour watching, I think it was like an hour, uh, watching this movies thing and like the cosplay parade and whatnot and what else did they have? It was pretty cool! <laughs> that was actually really really awesome, yeah, so the we sat there for you, a long time. The ones that you were like, oh that's that's nothing special, they were awesome! <laughs> they were really really cool. Yeah, they were cool. Their hotel is so much nicer than mine, I mean I'm not complaining because I got like <laughs> two beds and a couch and a 52 inch television and all that but... Me too. <laughs> <laughs> This place is really cool. I'm, I'm there on this side. Cool. <laughs> so this is the type of hotel that Blizzard did put them in. I mean, my hotel is not bad, but it definitely does not have this sort of cars in front. Yeah. All right, so we're now heading out to dinner. I'm just making my way back to their hotel, obviously. You know, it actually gets kind of chilly over here in the evening. I thought this was California, where it was like 30 degrees year round. And I mean 30 degrees Celsius, obviously, right? But it's actually kind of chilly. And I say kind of chilly, but I mean, it was freezing in the Netherlands, and this is not quite a winter coat. <laughs> Guys, where are we up to here? Like, what, what's going on? <laughs> Getting everything silky smooth. <laughs> Tinted lip balm. We're Dutch, that's the only thing we need. What the fuck are they selling over here? <laughs> Medicated lip balm, smooth, easy gliding protection. Where moet it op? Where do you put this? Yeah. We're not sure if this is the lobby or the actual party that we're at because the hotel entrance is right there. Alright guys, so I am now heading back to the hotel at the end of day number one of BlizzCon. Actually, it's technically already the day, you know, number two right now of BlizzCon. It's very, very late. And obviously, I still need to get editing on this vlog as well, so it is time to head back for me. Tomorrow is going to be a very long one as well. It's been like 20 hours since I got up. This is definitely a very tiring event to go to, but it's great, great fun. I'll be honest though, today was one of the absolute best days that I've ever had. The fact of the matter is that I've been making YouTube videos for quite a while right now, and people flew me out all the way to the other side of the world to actually be at this event. So honestly, thank you so much for watching these videos. It's awesome that you're here. We're so close to hitting our 100,000 subscribers, which is just incredible to me. Now, obviously, I've been working at this for a very long time, right? Like, for the last couple of years, I've been putting in probably about 10 hours every day to try and make the best content that I can make, but it's incredible how far we've come right now. So, sincerely, know that I am very thankful that you're still around, and I'll see you again for another vlog tomorrow. I want to thank y'all for watching. Have an amazing day. Oh my god, I just almost fell down. Do not forget to smile. And I will see you in tomorrow's vlog.